Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the world's biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And we've got one today who is an old friend of the show. He's one of my favourite people with a magnificent voice going back on tour with Moon River and me, starring Jimmy Osman opening on the 26th of September in Wolverhampton, ending the autumn tour on the 30th of October, and then restarting with the Christmas tour. Andy Williams' Christmas Extravaganza, starring the Osmonds, begins at the Isle of Wight on December the 14th and runs through until December 30th, where the tour ends in Newcastle. We're joined today by the brilliant Jimmy Osmond. How are you? How are you, my friend? Great to talk to you. Yeah, it's lovely to talk to you again. Every time I do an interview with you, you see this interview everywhere. You must have, like, the most massive social media network there is. It's amazing. I tell you what it is. Everyone loves to listen to your interviews. Well, I'm only as good as the people I'm talking to, and your fans truly love you. There's nothing insincere. You're not one of those fake celebrities that buys in followers. Your followers literally are people who adore you, and that's taken a long time to build up, hasn't it? Well, they're not they're not fans or friends, you know, and what's kind of weird is whether you're a Donnie fan or a Marie fan or even an old Jimmy fan, <laughs> you know, we, uh, yeah. we, we share the same friends, really, yeah. um, and it's kind of fun because we always, being a large family in show business, we all offer something different, you know, and and it's been quite fun to, you know, like I just played Vegas uh, here yesterday, as a matter of fact, and um, it was quite cool. It was my 50th anniversary since I started when I was there. Because, you know, we had already celebrated my brother's 50th, and that was several years ago. Yeah. It's almost their 60th now. But it was funny to look on Facebook and different places, and they say, okay, going to see Donnie Marie tonight, then Jimmy tomorrow. And, you know, it's just kind of wild that, um, these people have stuck with us and they bring their families to the show. It's just for such an honor to have stayed with the people that brought you to the dance, so to speak, you know? I guess your family is our family too and we think we know you and we certainly love you and I think it's the greatest respect from any fan to stick with you for a long time and your fans seem to love you more now than they ever did. I guess that only comes with age, doesn't it? I think the big difference, and I hats off to my brothers and even before them, Andy Williams, because he was kind of the guy that really taught us the ropes, so to speak, you know, was he would always tell me, especially later in life, because I got to know him differently than just him being my boss, you know what I mean, for all those years. And he said, Jimmy, don't ever think the fans are coming to just to see you or me. He said, they're coming to remember their lives. And when they know that you care about them, everybody has a different experience. And I've seen my brothers, and uh, hopefully I've, I've tried to follow in their footsteps by just really taking time and interacting with these people and learning their, you know, about their lives. We just did a, a fan appreciation cruise. And again, I hate that word fan, because yes. again, I know these people. Yeah. And, but they all we all went to Alaska together, and it was the greatest time because we laughed and we got to, you know, in the olden days, you'd never really get to talk to anybody. You'd be rushed in the back door and on the stage and then rushed out. And now to be able to do shows, kind of like the Moon River and Me Tour that I'm doing now, it's very intimate, very interactive, and it's the way it should be. It's great fun. Is it fun being you at this point? You've got nothing to prove. Nobody's going to doubt you. I was just sent a video yesterday of you singing some of the hits that we hear in the Moon River and Me tour, which starts on the 26th of September. You can see that at Wolverhampton going right through the autumn. Your voice, I don't think, has ever been stronger or more beautiful. The timbre you've got is sensational. I love it. Congratulations on that, because you can't buy that. Nobody sings like Andy Williams, so nobody's even pretending to go there. But I have on the bill, not just me, but Charlie Green, you know, from Britain's Got Talent years yeah. ago. He's now grown up, and he just has such an amazing voice. Yeah. I hate him. He's just like... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think people remember these songs, and it's easy to be forgiving of who's singing what song, because we all have history with these songs. And one of my favorite things to do in the show, kind of like... Uh, Natalie Cole, you know, did with her dad when she sang Unforgettable and interacted. I have a video that I play on my big LED screens, and it's Andy singing Love Story, and there's a counter melody to it. And it just fits like we we planned it. And it it is so beautiful because um, 
that song in particular just his it was everybody's theme song you know for their mm-hmm. weddings or whatever back in the day and and uh, just seeing people get emotional to this music is just amazing matter of fact if you have time for another story of course um i was doing a show and this veteran guy came up to me and had asked me because we have an interactive part in the show and he said we well, sing danny boy and so i sang danny boy and he just sobbed and hugged me after and he said the last time i heard that song was when my mom sang it to me when I went to war. I came back, she was gone, and you brought all those memories back. Thank you. Mm. And he just weeped. And I was like, oh my gosh, if you, if you could, it was totally worth it just for that one guy. You know what I yeah. mean? If you can take people back to those memories of their lives when we all were lucky enough to be on the radio, that's, that's special, you know, yeah. to do that. Somebody once said to me that in life, whether you're on stage or off, is that nobody ever remembers what you say. They only remember how you make them feel. And it's so true, isn't it? It really is. And this music does it by itself. I mean, we can all take credit as performers, you know, by, hey, it wasn't that a great show, whatever. Ah, if the content of the music and the selection and the pacing isn't that magical Andy Williams formula, you know, yeah. then we've really messed it up because he's, he, he was the pioneer of that style. You know, he'd never have more than a three-minute song, and um, he always would pace it to where he didn't have too many flows. And, you know, I mean, it was just his, his formula. And it still works today, and regardless of the age group that comes. And we're getting loads of young kids coming because people like Pixie Lott and others are re-recording his music. And, you know, <laughs> Burt Bacharach and all of those great masters of the past. Um and they want to be a part of that whole 60s vibe thing too, you know. Do you think Can't Take My Eyes Off You is probably the greatest pop song ever? I mean, whether you're 13, 30 or 90, you can sing along. You can't help but being caught away with that wonderful chorus where it builds and builds and builds and towards the end, I love you, baby, I all that it's stuff. It's a perfect song to me. Yeah, but I But again, so. I guess it depends on what, where you were when that was popular. And for me, it's very Vegas and it's... Yeah. It's like playing Caesar's Palace with Andy all over again when you hear that. And when when I play that song, uh, when you see the show, if you have time, I'd love for you to come see it. But it's I play all of the, this footage of everyone from the Kennedys to the Lucille Ball and Bob Hope and all these people we worked with because of Andy that were on his shows. And, you know, seeing those people as you're singing that cool song, uh, to me, just is... I mean, it's like therapy, you know. The Moon River and Me tour starts on September 26 in Wolverhampton, going via Southend on Sea and Bournemouth and Swansea, Chatham and, uh, of course, Cardiff, Western Supermere, Reading, Leicester, Exeter, and then we move forward right to the Christmas shows, which starts uh, in December. And again, so synonymous with Andy Christmas. We just love that feel and the thing he does. It makes us feel warm and cosy, doesn't well, it? Well, you know, all you have to do is sing it's the most wonderful time of the year and it's Christmas. I mean, yeah. come on, it's, he was the king of jumpers and Christmas, and he was just fantastic, you know, at, at creating that Christmas spirit and keeping the true meaning of Christmas alive, which is, was always very popular and, and part of his whole whole thing and ours as well. But, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. You know, this Moon River and Me tour, though, it was only supposed to be five shows. Yes. And it turned into yeah. 27, if you can believe it. Call me from all over the world that just are craving Andy Williams' music again. Yeah. And uh, it's just been a real treat, and I'm so humbled. If you'd have told me when I was a little boy that I'd end up owning his theater and <laughs> being empowered by him to do this, I would have thought you'd be nuts, you know. But yeah, what a legend. It's just a real special thing. To, to keep alive and so worthwhile don't you think absolutely I do and I think there's a great responsibility to do it well which you do again hearing your voice so remarkable you fobbed it off the last time I paid you a compliment but I'm going to say it again the way you sing these songs <laughs> is so beautiful the Christmas tour starts at Isle of Wight and you can see that December 14th through Eastbourne Portsmouth Watford Guildford Malvern UK beautiful theatre Birmingham 23rd of December doesn't get any better than that 28th well, of cool December in Birmingham Christmas, you know very much variety as Merrill and Jay and myself along with the Moon River Band and Emily Penny, Charlie Green from Britain's Got Talent, Steve Hewlett from Britain's Got Talent, all the singer dancers and it's just it's just that kind of feel good fun show 
that you used to watch on television, yeah. but now you get to see it live. It's interesting you mentioned Vegas earlier. I was looking this summer at how many shows have closed. As far as I've worked out so far, it's 19 shows. What's going on in Vegas? I've never seen so many casualties in one summer. I don't know. I think at some point, you know, they got away from all the nostalgia singers and mm. you know, stars and went to those review shows, you know. But I still think, you know, Vegas will always be alive for what it was started with, which was big names that you want to go and see. Um, I don't know. I just think there's so much. And, you know, I was thrilled to see the reaction for my crazy little show, but um, there's so much noise, it's impossible to try to, you know, be heard when you go there with a one-off date or, you know, a short run. Um, it's just it's just a real expensive machine to operate. Plus, similar to Branson and other markets, you you're dealing with tons of these companies called FIT companies, and they go in and they say, "Well, we'll sell your ticket if you give us a big price." And mm-hmm. so, by the, the truth is, when somebody goes to buy a ticket, say it's a hundred dollar ticket or whatever, the net number that actually gets to the theater that pays for the show is not even fifty percent. And it's just so expensive to advertise in the market. Like I say, there's so much noise going on there with too much info, yeah. too many shows, that um, it's just really difficult to make a show work. And so, you know, nowadays, my brothers and I just go in for, you know, two nights here, two nights there kind of a thing. But it's a real testament to my brother and sister, Donnie Marie. I mean, they show of the year again. And uh, I think people crave the old Vegas vibe where you could actually reach out and touch somebody that you've watched on television and, and interact with them that way. And I think that will always be popular. Yeah. Jimmy Osmond, I'll see you in Chesterfield. Can't wait to see the new show. Uh, Andy Williams and me, this brilliant production, which has got uh, all the big screens, great talent with you, and, of course, these fabulous songs, most importantly, you and your voice. Thank you for your time. Good luck with the autumn tour and the Christmas tour. I'm talking with you, my friend. You take care, buddy. And I'll talk to you in Chesterfield. See you then. All right, see you soon.